To my knowledge, I believe we have everything. We got the man purse. We got the fingerboard in the man purse. Taylor, you ready? Yeah, I thought you were talking to me in that voice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what voice? Do I have a YouTube voice? Yeah. Really? Damn, I didn't think I had a YouTube voice. All right, day one of Chicago. Today's the Black River opening. Let's, let's, let's get it. Maybe I do have a YouTube voice. Wallet, hotel key, fingerboard. We'll forget, oh, skateboard. Do you have a fingerboard? I do have a fingerboard. I got a real size skateboard and a finger size skateboard. All right, Uber, and we kind of we kind of made a whoopsie for whatever reason. I just like didn't think traffic existed here. I don't know why. And like this morning, it was like 25 minutes to get to Black River, like the shop where we're going. And I checked just now; it's an hour and 10 minutes to go 19 miles. Kind of threw off our breakfast plans and skating before the opening plans. I was talking to a couple homies that are over there already. They said there's some spots by the store, so I, we'll still get some skating in, just kind of throwing us a little bit behind schedule. But Uber's gonna be here in five minutes. Have you ever been to Chicago? Are you cold? No, I haven't. <laughs> they probably have clothes. You can probably get like a sick Black River hoodie. You rep the fingerboard scene. <laughs> You're a fingerboarder now, you gotta embrace it. So yeah, kind of just a day in Chicago today, uh, exploring tourist, touring, touring, touristing. We'll see you there. Oh, how's it going? All right, we made it and there's a, we're right next to Black River. There's a big line out there, but we're starving. So I see Rudy's Ramen and I love ramen, so we're stopping in here. Look at that. Oh, mission success. That was delicious. How was yours? It's really good. It's really good ramen. I haven't had ramen. I guess it's lunch. It's 12.30, but <laughs> it's 1.14. I guess it's lunch. It's no longer breakfast. It was our first meal of the day, though, but we're like, we're next door to the to the shop. So I think we're just gonna head over there. And I think it looks like there's a pretty big line out there. I don't know if there's still a line. It opens at one, so I don't really know what to expect. Hey! <laughs> super not what obvious. Up? <laughs> oh, we were talking about the, the double intro that us influencers have to do. We're here with the homies. What up? It's my first time actually meeting you, yes. even though we like, it's gonna be weird today because I think I'm gonna, I've talked to a ton of people, but never met them. Oh um, yeah, that's how this, this stuff goes. Yeah, no, for sure. So nice to officially nice meet you. Nice to officially meet you. You, on the other hand, I have met you. What's up, Garrett? How's it First going? Time today? I know. <laughs> it's not like we've met 30 seconds ago again. Oh god, I'm. Uh, it's the behind this influencers in the wild post. Uh, dude, this line is gnarly. Yeah, it's gonna be a sick day. Yeah, that is. Uh, you want to give? Can you? You can probably give more backstory than I can on every because all I've said was like first opening in the U.S. Nailed it. That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, and so more to it. it's Black River's 25 year anniversary. So they did a huge event, the World Championships in Germany earlier this summer, and then now they're opening their first USA store ever. Sick. Here we are. Sick. And there's cool. a really long fucking line. Dude, there's a really long line. <laughs> what up? What up? What up, my dude? Good seeing you. Come with me. Hi, Taylor. Hey. We got that VIP experience. I'm gonna set that there and hope that doesn't get stolen. This is the homie Nash. How's it going? You guys probably know Nash from, what was our first introduction? The, the replica you made, right? No, you came to Sorry. Oh, way back. Sorry, seven, years ago. Sorry, eight. Yeah. yeah. Then okay. we did your part. Okay, so he's yeah. Nash is the one that built the fingerboard replica of version one of the backyard park. Right. What yeah. four years ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then over the years, we've been keeping in, in contact, and he's been helping me with you know my fingerboard obstacle journey. Pretty much whenever I can't figure something out, the first person <laughs> I hit up is Nash. Like Nash, how do I do this? Yeah, I got your back. Dude. Yeah, appreciate that. I got your back. So give us the backstory on on this and and the role you play and all that. Yeah, so this is pretty crazy. You know, I always built everything on a miniature scale, this big, and I now I had the opportunity to work with Black River once more and build a store. So when I came into this room three weeks ago, it was empty, it was bare, and now I've created these fixtures over here, the display cases, the pegboards. So you, you, you built everything here, essentially? 
like 85% of it. That's so sick. Yeah, me and Andy really went off, and Andy's somewhere way deep back there running the cash register, but uh, today, you know, we get to enjoy what we broke our backs for. Dude, hell yeah. Bled, cried, you know. Can you show me that photo that you showed me yeah, earlier? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the before and after is crazy. Yeah, there's the... Uh, so yeah. that, that is this space, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. Three, damn. So you guys got this up quick. Yeah, very quick. That's 14, so 14 slow. hour days. Just damn. From the moment we rolled out of bed yeah. until we couldn't work anymore. That's sick. Well, yeah. hell, yeah, I appreciate you getting yeah. this in and everything. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to go you. explore and see what we can find. Of course. So this is when the, uh, the sensory overload really kicked in, which is why I'm voiceovering this section of the video here. Uh, but you got to realize that, you know, for the past six months or so, Taylor and I have been living relatively in seclusion in our mountain home away from people and civilization. So being in a big city with a, a bunch of people was overwhelming and not necessarily in a bad way at all. It was just like a, a lot of people and filming was a little bit lower on my priorities than it maybe should have been, being the fact to make YouTube videos for a living. But we were just hanging out and, you know, meeting people and socializing and other things as opposed to just filming, hence the the lack of footage. But I mean, you can see Taylor spent more time fingerboarding than than I was, and she always surprises me because she'll she'll go months without fingerboarding, and then you know when we go to events or randomly she'll pick it up throughout the house. But she'll just be better than she was last time with no practice, which is always kind of kind of funny to watch. But we both had a um, a really cool time. Again, the huge turnout. Like there was a line blocks out the door. We were there for like three or four hours um, and again didn't film didn't film too much but after a while we just we wanted to get some fresh air so we went and sort of touristed about which I think is what I was talking about here is like I've been to Chicago multiple times but I've never done the whole touristy thing and it was Taylor's first time in Chicago so we wanted to make the most of the trip so we just did some touristy things we went to see the bean and then I think honestly just some other stuff that I didn't film. And I, I don't think I have any excuse other than the fact I just got like social overload. Like there was too many people and too many things. And we found out there was a marathon going on the next day and there were like a million extra people in Chicago. So there was like lines for everything, traffic backed up for hours. And like, I guess it wasn't normal, um, but it was just like, it was a lot. Uh, so I sort of just like filmed a little B-roll for the rest of the trip, which is where this voiceover is coming in. And then we landed in West Virginia after a really bumpy flight, I may say. Um, and yeah, like landing West Virginia was like a breath of fresh air after Chicago. Chicago's an amazing city. I, I love it. It was just a lot. And then linked up with the homie Andrew, which is where we're at now. Hi. What's up, bud? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're in West Virginia. I just got done editing that voiceover. I got that voiceover first try. I nailed that. <laughs> first try. Sure. It took me like, what, 30 minutes to get that right for some reason? Oh, let me see this. Did you actually time it? God damn it. Yeah, about 30 minutes. Damn, it took me 30 minutes to get that voiceover <laughs> done. I just, I want, there's like, I wanted to address a lot of things because like we were there for so many hours. And like there was such a, a ton of cool experiences that I didn't get to document because I was just so overloaded and didn't focus on filming. You lived in the moment. How dare you? I know, right? Isn't that crazy? I prioritized my own life over the my content for once. But no, I mainly want to show like appreciation for everyone that was there uh, because a ton of like amazingly generous people, whether like I got hooked up like some free decks, some free wheels, like some free obstacles, like the fingerboarding community is always so nice and uplifting and positive, which is one of my favorite things about fingerboarding. But yeah, it was just like, it, it was a lot. Like it was really hectic. And the whole marathon, like I guess, we were talking to one of our Uber drivers who said that this, that's like not normal. The amount of hecticness that downtown Chicago had, I guess that was what, yesterday at the time of filming this, he said that wasn't normal. And that was just my first impression because I had never done the whole touristy thing before. So when we went to go see the bean, we had to wait in like a 30 minute line just to get yeah, through. Like I it know was, when you guys posted that picture, there was a billion people. Yeah. There. I was like, it, it was it was a lot and I guess that that's not normal. It's just the the marathon. It's a really shitty timing after the Black River event We spent the rest of that day just fully Touristing and I sort of I I, I want to apologize but at the same time like I did just prioritize like our, our trip over Content, but I really just didn't film much and we just were full-blown tourists for the rest of the day And then the next morning is when we packed up to fly out here here, just sort of where we're at, and that's kind of why I'm trying to like play catch up with the content because I just I just reached a point of just like social overload where I'm like I can't do this anymore. We're, I'm not filming. But now that we're here, this is my first time ever in this state, and this is my first time visiting Andrew. You guys know, know Andrew. We've been trying to make it happen for a while now. For a while now, but I think it was 
2022, the last time I seen you. Yeah. No, 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 I seen you. We went to Woodward. Oh, okay, yeah. So that, that's what I was telling them. It's like Andrew comes to Woodward as my as my filmer, because you have to put it that way, because I don't think I'm allowed to bring like a friend. <laughs> so, you know, I can't come unless I film YouTube content, so my filmer has to come. But I didn't get to see Andrew this year, and with us, me and Taylor being on the East Coast for... The Black River thing, I figured we'd make a trip out of it. So here we are. Yeah, our hotel room is a pretty good first impression of West Virginia. Let me give you the tour here. The room itself is actually, it's like very, very spacious compared to the Chicago room. For example, I mean, we come into this bathroom and uh, I mean, look, look at this space. It's huge, we can have a party in here. Uh, let's just close the door here. Oh, look, okay, let's. How, how do you how do you how do you lose a door handle? So you can still open it, but we just we don't have a door handle. I don't know how that gets overlooked. And then I don't even want to touch them because we finally got them to work. But our these don't open. They're supposed to be well. Okay, that's falling off in the first place. But we found out that up goes down and down goes up, but they don't go up enough. They only lift to right here. Yeah. Not to mention we checked in like. At a normal time, like no, like three check-ins at three. We pulled up at two fifty-seven, and we had to wait like thirty minutes for the room. And then we walk into the room. And well, no, then she's like, "Your room's ready. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'll take you up there." And then we get to the room, and there's a damn flood that they're mopping up right there. They're like still cleaning it. I'm like, like, just tell like, us it's not ready. Like, this is a horrible fur. <laughs> like, yeah. So I mean, the rooms. I mean, it's it's a it's a Holiday Inn. Like, we're, it's not we're not expecting luxury hotel we just got something affordable and it's you get what you pay for for me it was the door handle like this i was like fuck it we'll just fold this up it doesn't really matter then i'm gonna go take a piss i'm gonna go close the door i'm like bro where is the handle but yeah i mean i'm thinking what do you think for us today just skate and kind of um, decompress for today i want to show you one of the local skate parks freedom skate park okay uh, i get he was telling me that west virginia is like not a very heavily street skated it's not well the skate culture is very doesn't really exist like there's some it's like it comes and goes in ways yeah but like there's no there's not ever been like a real handrail skater there's been one guy but like there's some rails that are screaming your name damn uh, so we'll, really we'll see it, i don't know i think i've changed as a person bro because i used to love like san francisco new york la like, i used to love that and then like during my last couple years living in la it was starting to kind of dwindle out and now like living where we live now chicago was just hectic and now like being here it feels what you're looking at me like you want to say something no, I'm just thinking. <laughs> She's sitting there like, mm, is, is that, do, you, do you disagree or what? No, I, I agree. I just feel like maybe I rubbed off on you. I, well, I, I think so. I think I think it's like a good thing too. I know, like, you like the city and I was just waiting for you to catch up. I don't know. There was a time and place for it in my life. And I just think I'm not there now. And like looking out of our broken blinds you just you see like trees and, and you see nature and you see fall colors whereas like chicago you see city skylines which again some people love i just think i'm leaning more towards the whole nature thing i'm turning into a hippie i've, I've addressed this i'm going full-blown hippie one of my last videos i talked about a fucking tree for like five minutes it's a really cool tree <laughs> yeah i think i mean i think today we're, we're just like you guys know by now the content's so casual it's just like i'm still i'm still grasping this new style of content because i'm so used to like everything being super youtube and filming everything which like i don't need to know skate park see where the day takes us that's the plan you get to meet my baby i get to meet his baby i don't even think yeah the internet doesn't even know i have a baby Really? Oh, really? Surprise. I don't think so. Uh, I'll say I streamed on my YouTube once, uh, and then if you follow me on Instagram. Damn, yeah, Andrew like, has a baby. How old? Seven months. Congratulations. Well, I've already told you congratulations, but I'm saying it for them. All right, well, we'll catch you guys at the skate park or something. Oh, well, my first West Virginia skateboarding experience. Actually, this is my first time skating this whole trip. I guess it's only, what, the third day? Yeah, all right, I gotta, I wanna go check this out. Andrew's our tour guide here. So, okay, cool. let's give us a quick backstory on you. Cause you were born and raised here, huh? Kind of, but not really. I grew up in Ohio till I was eight. Long story short, this is, um, it's been my local since I was 16. Okay. So this place is very near to dear, near and dear to me. Best flat ground ever. I would say the ramps are all like metal prefab ramps and they're very, very dangerous. As you can see, the death ramp. Come check out the death ramp. Oh, so it's kind of windy here, so I'm, I'm like trying to like block the mic with my hand, so I, my hand was definitely in that shot. Why does this thing look so steep? This is like, this is a whole, bro, this is like a legitimate vert ramp. So the theory is, 
is is whenever they built them they built them upside down so i guess this is supposed to be the top no way but i don't know they're very scary i've only ever rocked a fake you didn't the axle stall yeah it's a, it's a legit vert ramp but it's only uh, it it's what vert. six foot or five it's not even six foot yeah it literally that, has vert that's a legitimate i, I guess it is six foot yeah because i'm 5'11 i thought you were seven foot yeah no i'm seven foot five so yeah this gotta be yeah, it's gotta be a seven foot ramp. No, this looks like a this looks like a fun. It looks like really nice flat ground. It looks like if you made a park on Tony Hawk, and <laughs> like the park editor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one looks really inviting. Yeah. It's only one I touch here. Bro, this is vert too. It is. They're all. This is a that is a, a vert ramp, but that is what three foot. We have a three foot vert ramp. Oh, whoa, we, that is cool. We don't we don't even talk about this. Why? Why? So the city made this. It just. Just look at it. Wait till you ride it, and then you'll then you'll know. Why is there a seam there? They, wow, this is a trip. They have a metal coping there. This is called the peninsula, or the Audrey ledge. I say the really the only useful thing is this. We just slap. Oh it. yeah, a little slappy, slappy right on curb. That, that's about it. Wait till you see our bowl section. <laughs> he said, wait till you see the bowl section. What can that mean? I feel like it's either really good or really bad, and there's no in between. All this this open flat ground space is really sick though. You got like ledges. You got rails. Built that ledge. Really? Yeah. That's sick. Whoa, this looks interesting. Whoa, that's quite the rail. Will you please hit it? <laughs> that that I'm thing looks crazy. It. What's up, Chad? This is my buddy Chad. What's up, Garrett? Holy shit, it's Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. It kicks you, it lands you into the bank still. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then here you have the little bump to rail. I mean, yeah, I'll mess around on some stuff. It's really, it's really all you could ask for. <laughs> what is this thing? It's a little, a little tall for my uh, skill. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks like a, I, I want to make this a fingerboard obstacle, like a big old metal bench. Oh, no, you can make this all day. Uh, um, our pyramid, it took me a long time to get used to it, but it's pretty decent hip. This looks like a death trap. That right there. Right, right over that. No, that, that's bad. So the local legend, the, one of the best skaters, Chris Lettingham, he got towed in by a car and bumped the bar this. Wow, yeah, that's gnarly. Really. It, it was fucking nuts. That's gnarly. Really. My first little down rail. Yeah? Yep. And yeah. I was terrified to hit this. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of gnarly. Well, it's just because the it's like a dun dun, and then not right. much time to set up. What do you think you're feeling the most? I guess we just roll around for a little bit and see if I can get my my plane legs warmed up. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'll, I'll just roll around. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so scary. Phew. Do I even dare step foot in this thing? Uh, I want to see your. Uh, First reaction. Alright. Why does it feel like that? The city man. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna get hurt in this thing, bro. <laughs> Go back over here. Oh. I just feel so stiff. Oh. Do a front blunt, front blunt the ledge. How waxed is it? I don't know. Oh, it's waxed. It's slippery. <laughs> I don't think I slid that at all. That's like a blood hey, stall. You popped the hell out of it though. <laughs> My bones. Try to slide that front bump a little bit. Oh. It's such a big open space, but I don't know where to go. I like this. Let's try to knock out a couple tricks on this ledge actually. Not a lot of people skate this. Should we try is it? Any, is there anything you got over the top? Over the top? Let me yeah. try, I'll start with the hit. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm feeling it out. Maybe this one. That one? Yeah. I'm scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. That's perfect, baby. Oh. I'm running out of excuses to use. My legs hurt, what uh, oh the sun's in my eyes. What's another excuse I need one more? Um, I can't pizza. complain. You ate a lot of pizza. Ah, I ate a lot of pizza, I'm super full. I was trying to complain about the ground, but the ground's actually really sick. It's like perfect flat the, ground. The green part's perfect, yeah. the other is a little rough, but. Let's mess around with that little rail, the flat bar. Let's get it. The round one though. What happened to it? I think a, a truck backed up into it. Oh really? It's like a DIY kink, right? Yeah. All right, it was intentional. Do a uh, front feeble the whole thing. I want a 50-50 at first. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go for it and I panicked. All right, front feeble. <laughs> Woo! First time, baby. I think that went to nose slide. <laughs> 
Ooh. If you want some more rail action, uh, I'd like to see you hit the little our little down rail. That one over there? Yeah. I'll see. You have like two feet of flat. It's uh, two feet of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, that's terrifying. <laughs> I feel like it's unnecessary. It's unproportionately scary. Yeah, and like it's not like a direct like edge that you can pop off. It's, yeah, it's like rounded. Well, it that's a good over. excuse. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Why'd that look so scary? I will say, I feel like it's one of those parks that you get hurt doing something not very cool. It's one of those, I just feel kind of like wonky on a skateboard. But it also could be my airplane legs and like one of the other 15 excuses I could think of. In reality, the park's actually pretty sick. Let's try this weird, oh, maybe not. That's a dog training facility. <laughs> my bad. So the best thing about this park is it is also a multi-use uh, park for kids as well. Yeah. What you got right here is uh, right. pretty typical. <laughs> okay. Don't go too fast now. <laughs> oh, oh god, that hurt everything that hurt my <laughs> Why why that hurt so bad? I think it's because you clipped. <laughs> Damn it. When I landed, I feel like an 80 year old man right now, dude. I don't know, well, I do know what it is, my sciatica. But like sitting in the planes, like playing, and then like before I get to like stretch everything out of another plane, I feel so tight. How much has your confidence gone up since uh, the beard with your looks? 15 times. I figure, it I'm looks good, bro. sexy now, It dude. looks good. Thanks. No, it, it really does feel good. I feel like- Yeah, what the hell? Why haven't you grown one since then? I just, I, I don't know. I just never thought I could I'll do say a it's beard. it's not patchy whatsoever. People are saying like a I month have, from now, you're going to be fucking... You think I'll... Like, hell yeah. I just, I just don't know what the beard will do. But based on like, because I've never had a beard. So it's, based on like what the comments are saying, people say like, it looks like it'll grow into no, a beard. No, for sure. The, you're not patchy whatsoever. Really? So you're chilling. Sick. That's the main thing that makes a beard patchy. Now. Right, okay. Look at that. I'm a beard guy apparently. Beard guys would land this. Yes, they would. Dude, my back hurts so bad. I'm tired, Andrew. I mean, the first one was okay. I definitely tapped. I for sure tapped and it landed was, like a grandpa. Nose manual and then nollie flip off. <laughs> yeah, two separate tricks. I just want to go play with fingerboards, man. It hurts way less. Do you want to skate? You want to get any clips? Uh, I'll do a little bit of stuff. All right. You want to get this first, though? One more try. One more try. One more try. I was really trying to just move past that. I know, I know. Ow, dude, it hurts. You're hurting me. <laughs> it doesn't hurt when you land on the board, does it? Oh no, it does. <laughs> What's it gonna be like when I'm like older? Like when I'm like in my 30s or 40s, is this game over? Depression. Yeah. Oh, no tap, baby. You know why? Cause I got a beard. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. Thank you. No, for real though, I'm like actually pretty bummed how bad my body hurts right now. I think it is just like the flights and traveling, but I guess this is like this is getting old. That sucks. All right, get some clips. I'll get my little uh, little line. Yeah, see, this is your local. You got no excuse. I am coming off a roll now. <laughs> uh, it was perfect until I skated and I, I scooped all the wax off with my feet. Uh, see, skating just hurts. Oh, oh, we're still going. We're still going. Oh. That was way cooler than anything I did this whole time here. So that was Thank sick. You. Well, I would say the session got better once we stopped filming for YouTube. <laughs> that was fun. I mean, we were there for a minute. I was just having like, okay, I'm gonna blame my sciatica. Although really, like, I, it was just me. Also, you warmed up. I, I warmed up. It's just taking me so much longer to warm up than it used to, and I think that's what's throwing me off. But after we sort of put the GoPro down, I started. I wanted to get like a little Instagram storyline, so I started trying a couple tries of that, and it was like flat ground tray flip, 
It was originally just five-round tray flip and then a, uh, a front blunt. Got that, and Andrew kind of talked me into like keeping the line going and doing like a little marathon line and seeing where we end up. We started trying a uh, little tray flip, front blunt, kick flip nose manual on the little ledge, and then that evolved into you hit a kick flip on the mini ramp quarter pipe thing after that, and then a nollie heel, and then made it all the way to this crookback smith, and it just turned into this whole thing. And we were kind of trying that for a whole while longer than I'd like to talk about. <laughs> turned into a little thing. But dude, fun park. I, I like finally loosened up, and like my body started feeling good. It just took a really, really long time, and I'm gonna blame traveling. Just a lot of sitting in airplanes and sitting in cars and sleeping in beds that aren't mine. I'll blame it on that, right? So I think, for the, I, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video there. We're gonna meet Andrew's kid. I don't want to. I don't want to put your kid. On, I don't want to put oh, your yeah, kid on no, the internet. No, I, I, I would love for you to. No, you literally just said how you don't want to put your kid on the internet. I, I don't want to make. I don't want to make. I don't want. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. You don't want. You don't want to make money off your kid. I don't valid. My valid. Child. When I start filming YouTube again, be on the lookout. Well, I mean, so, some people. Uh, some people like don't want their kids on the internet. Period, which yeah. is also yeah. very valid. Well, there goes my excuse to stop filming. God damn it. No. <laughs> I think for the evening, I just. I'm. I'm gonna wrap it up there. We're doing meeting his kid. I've met your wife yet either, have I? Somehow, no. Because I, I don't know how. Because I would ask Terry, I'd be like, "Have you not met Gary yet?" And she was like, "No, I picked you up drunk from his house a few times." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's really fucking sad." <laughs> meet his wife. Meet his kid. We're all we're going out to dinner. We're gonna get sushi in West Virginia, which might be questionable, but yeah. I've heard good things. It's not California. That's fine. I just like. I also sushi. don't eat sushi, so you might love it. Are you gonna know. eat sushi? No. What do you mean? I'm gonna get hibachi. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think it like it's just been hectic with traveling. Like it's been it's been too much. And airports are just like so much. But we're done with flights for five four days because we're driving to West uh, We're driving to Ohio. Kind of like get to breathe for a sec. We have a full day tomorrow, and then however long we want the day after. That's when we're driving to the Shred Quarters to meet up with Andy Schrock. And I think like we can finally start like relaxing, like filming obviously, but less just like travel hecticness, finally. This video was kinda all fucking over the place, but that's because our lives have been all over the place. It's just been hectic. Thank you guys for watching. Andrew, thank you for picking us up. Oh, and for what? film. <laughs> what happened to your pants? Dude, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was so zoned in. Uh, we'll catch you next video. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace out.